What's up guys? Welcome back to the poker vlog. This is episode number 33 and for this episode I play a 510 session at Bellagio. Then I head over to Caesars to play there and after that I partied up a little bit with uh, one of my buddies for his birthday. So it's a it's a really fun episode. Um, this, this is all filmed on June 2nd, so it was right at the beginning of the World Series. Uh, I know it was kind of a while ago, but I wanted to get out all the tournament vlogs before I kind of put out some of the cash game ones because the tournament ones are a little bit more time sensitive. Before we get into it though, I want to open up a few packages I got from uh, Spade Sunshades. You might remember that my car got broken into about a month and a half ago. and. Some thieves got my sunglasses. Spades uh, sent me over some new ones to replace them. It was totally unexpected. It was super cool of them. And the owner reached out to me recently, asked if I wanted some more, and I said, of course. So let's go ahead and uh, open those together right now. Ooh, wow, these ones are awesome. Red and black, sweet. Holy crap, there's four in here, wow. Got some wood framed ones. Cool design on these ones. We're gonna open package number two. Oh wow, these ones are sick. Awesome, we've got the uh, orange and black ones here. Super cool, polarized lenses. Last pair of sunglasses here. And these ones are very cool. Black and white, two-toned, polarized lenses. These ones are my favorite so far, actually. These, these and uh, the orange and black ones. Here are the orange and black ones here. I'm a big Giants fan, so I'm definitely gonna be wearing these ones to the game. And uh, these wood frame ones are super cool, too. So, thanks a lot to Jeff over at Spade Sunshades for sending me seven pair of glasses. That's awesome. If you guys wanna get your own pair of glasses, I'll have a link down below in the description box. I think usually they're about $15 to $25. And for polarized lenses, that's a really, really good deal. Usually it's a lot more than that. Uh, so thanks very much. I'm definitely gonna be wearing these. And if anyone else wants to uh, send a letter or whatever to me or Cosmo, I'll have an address below. And if you send something to Cosmo, maybe I'll read it in his voice or something. So uh, anyway, this intro has gone on for quite a while. Thanks one last time to Spades, and let's go ahead and get into the episode. Got to the Bellagio, we're gonna play some 510. There's six games going right now. World Series has officially started. I'm excited. And uh, then I'm heading over to O'Shea's later to hang out with my buddy for his birthday and play some beer pong, so should be cool. I get into the game and quickly realize there's almost no one at the table that I can beat. There's seven really good cash game pros and only one rec player. In one of the first hands, I look down an ace-queen offsuit in middle position and raise to 30. The hijack three bets to 90, the cutoff and the button both call. Now the big blind four bets to 400. I fold, it ended up going to showdown and the big blind had ace-king suited. Next, I get queen 10 of clubs in the big blind. It folds to the cutoff, who's the rec player. I played with him before several times around Las Vegas. He opens to 40. The button and small blind both fold. I make the call for 30 more. The flop comes 7-5 deuce with two clubs. We've got two over cards and a flush draw. I check the cutoff at 60 and I make the call. The turn is the 10 of spades, giving us a pair to go along with our flush draw. This time, I lead out for 110. Better hands won't fold to this bet, but I should have plenty of outs against over pairs and don't mind inflating the pot for when I do hit. This particular player also hates folding and may call with worse hands like straight draws, flush draws, 
possibly just ace high without a flush draw sometimes because my line looks a little goofy. Maybe he'll call with pocket nines, eights, jack 10, 10 nine, or 10 eight as well. The opponent does call and the river is the queen of diamonds. I now have top two pair and it's very well disguised. I go for the home run and bet 400. I might take the same line as a bluff with missed clubs and I'm hoping this bet won't make any sense to my opponent, causing him to get curious and make a light call, or perhaps he has an overpair and can make the call anyway. He ultimately does fold, not sure what he had, but it felt like I probably could have gotten some more value from him if I had made a smaller bet. Right after this, we have a conversation that I've been anticipating for quite some time now. We just got a little bit of sad news. I was playing poker and the floor man pulled me aside, said, are you Brad Owen? He said yes. He said, I'm sorry, but unfortunately, we're not allowed to let you film anymore inside the poker room. You can film uh, other things, as long as you're not filming faces and you're being respectful and all that. But for now, we're being shut down from filming the live action, which is too bad. So there's a lot of cool things about this poker room. But uh, the floor man was really nice, and he was very reasonable, and uh, I'm not kicked out or anything like that. He actually wants me to play on the live stream at some point, and we talked about in the future, maybe me sign signing a waiver or signing an agreement so that uh, it would remove all liability from them. In the meantime though, that last hand you saw, that's gonna be the last one from the Bellagio poker room for a little while. The game isn't great, so I rack up and then I trudge slowly and sadly away from the poker room. It's been real, Bellagio. It's been real. Heading out, going over to Caesars. None of the 510 games are really that good. I won $80 on this session, so it's pretty much breaking even for uh, that game. But the night is just getting started. While waiting for the 2-5, I buy in for 300 and jump into the 1-2 game. I'm already up piles of cash by the time I pick up Jack-9 suited in the hijack. And by that, I mean I'm up about $5. I race to 8, the button calls, then the small blind. We go three ways to the flop. It comes 8-5-deuce rainbow with one club. The small blind checks. I bet 12. It should get a few better hands to fold, and there are plenty of turn cards that will give us a draw that I can double barrel. The button folds, the small blind makes a call, the turn is the deuce of diamonds, this isn't what we wanted, the small blind checks, I check back, the river is the jack of diamonds giving us top pair, this time the small blind bets 20, I call, he turns over 9-8 offsuit, and we win. After this, we jump into the 2-5 game and add on 600. We're in for 900 total now. We get dealt ace-queen of diamonds in middle position, under the gun, blimps in, followed by under the gun plus one. We raise it up to 25. Both players call and the flop comes king-jack-deuce with two spades. The under the gun player and under the gun plus one both check. I see bet to 40 with a gut shot and an over card. Both players fold, we take it down. Next we have pocket nines in the small blind. The button raises to 15, I call. The big blind folds, we go heads up to the flop. The dealer puts out king eight three with two hearts. I check, the button checks back. The turn is a four, I bet 10, hoping to get called by ace high. He calls, the river is a queen, I bet 15. This time, the button raises to 75. He's got the nuts or nothing here, and I don't like folding. I make the hero call, and I'm wrong. He's got the nuts. Well, a set of queens at least. Shortly after that, I get pocket deuces in the hijack. The player who got me with the queens opens the 20 on my right. I call, the button calls. Now the small blind, three bets to 100. The initial preflop raiser calls. I could fold here, but it'll be very hard for me to win the hand if I do that, so I call. The button folds, we go three ways to the flop, and it's jack-nine-deuce with two clubs. The small blind checks, 
The player in middle position bets 130. I could call a raise here. I go with a call to see what develops and to set the trap. The small blind folds. The dealer puts out the eight of spades on the turn. The opponent checks. I bet 300 and the player in middle position folds. I want a good sized pot before taking off to meet up with my friend for his birthday. Just picked up here at Caesars. I was in for 900 in the 2 5 game, so I cashed out for 1210. So I won 310. I won about $50 in 1 2, and the rest of it was in the 2 5 game. Um, I made that bad call with the pocket nines. Uh, I kind of was just going based on a live read. His pulse was really throbbing when I looked at him, so that means he's either bluffing or he's got the nuts, and uh, he had the nuts. <laughs> so it didn't really work out, but. Um, a few hands later, I got it all back and then some, so that was good. So now I'm going over to O'Shea's to hang out with my buddy Pat. It's his birthday tonight. We're gonna have some fun, we're gonna play some beer pong, and we're gonna have a few drinks. It's a beautiful night in Las Vegas with lots of people out. Work is over, it's party time. We walk to O'Shea's and my buddy Pat is already there. He's the guy on the left with the gray hat on. I went to high school with him in Northern California. He's one of my closest friends. He's very down to earth and has always had a firm grip on reality. Less firm grip on that beer though. Happy birthday, Pat. Okay, I suppose I deserve that one. We get some beer and set up the game. I have my friend Kevin Colenzo on my team. He just got 84th in the main event for $72,500. Congratulations to him. We had a lot of fun playing beer pong. We all hit some shots and had some good moments in the game. But the highlight was when this woman subbed in to distract the birthday boy's partner. The counter strategy of using this woman's rack as a backboard was perfectly executed. At this point, Kevin forgets which team he's on and gives our opponent a high five and excitement. Despite being asked not to film anymore at Bellagio, it was a good day of poker and a really fun night overall. That's it for the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments section. Um, I want to give a big thanks to the guys at Spade Sunshades for sending me these glasses. Thanks a lot. These are very cool. I was sent seven glasses. I'll have a link down below in the description box if you guys want to get your own pair. And uh, last thing is that I'm going to be going on vacation. Um, it's a little bit dead here in Vegas after the World Series usually, so it's a good time to go somewhere else. I might play a cash game session at the Seminole Hard Rock in Florida and uh, get a video up of that as soon as possible. But um, in the meantime, hope you guys are all doing well and good luck at the tables.